We begin tonight with a look Easter investigation into the missing millions loaned to one of our football clubs. Northampton Town borrowed £10.2 million from the Borough Council to develop its stadium and the surrounding land. But the work has gone unfinished and there are big questions about what's happened to that money. Now it's emerged that the club chairman received more than a quarter of it. The reason for that, though, is in dispute. Well, let's go live to our sports reporter, James Burridge, who's at Six Fields for us this evening. James. Yes, Janine, Six Fields, a stadium in the spotlight. Its very existence is in doubt. This redevelopment was supposed to make, not break, a football club. This £10.25 million of Borough Council money, well, not all of it has been seen spent here. The Cobblers tickled pink into the second round of the FA Cup, flying high in League Two. Off the pitch, though, it's a different story. 100 years of footballing history could be wiped away in a week. For the past few weeks, we've been investigating just what has been happening here at Sixfields. There's been plenty of rumour and speculation. Buried in these hundreds of pages of public documents are the facts, but they are disputed. But we've been speaking with a number of individuals and directors to try to get to the bottom of it all. The story begins in June 2013. Northampton Borough Council loaned £10.25 million to the football club for the redevelopment of the Sixfield Stadium. Of that £10 million, I understand over £8 million was given to a company called First Land, appointed to oversee the redevelopment. £2.65 million was given to the club's chairman, David Cardoza, and his father, Anthony. They call it a joint venture fee, money paid to one party to help carry out a jointly run project. It's unclear what has since happened to that money. I've recorded a number of interviews in the past decade with David Cardoza. He claims in the past he's invested at least £7 million as chairman. In September, when questions were first being asked about the missing millions, he told me this. Some of the money's been spent, some of the money hasn't, and, and, and we, we had a situation with a contractor where we lost some of those funds, but we've made those funds up through... Um, we own, we've had partners on 50-50 on the land next door. We've taken their shares and we own, my father and I own 100% of that now. That's the way to protect the money. So the money comes back to the club, gets the stand built, gets everything, everything done. In response, David Cardoza has now told the BBC he's consulting his lawyers and that he was under confidentiality, so cannot speak. Tony Clark is a former director and general manager at the Cobblers. Now he's part of a team working tirelessly behind the scenes to save it. Well, there's a lot of unity in the club. There's, um, you know, from the players all the way through the team. Those of us that are trying to sort out this mess, we're getting on with the job. And Chris and the players have, have been fantastic, and the staff have been wonderful. They're in these offices working for no pay. Um, so there is unity, but of course everybody's thinking, what's around the corner? Can we save the club? Can we move on to times that are going to be better? In a few minutes' time, the draw for the second round of the FA Cup takes place. But as this crisis intensifies, who knows if the Cobblers will even get to play in it. But James, it's important to say it's not over yet for the club. Is there a chance they can still survive this? There is a chance, Janine. That chance really hangs on Kelvin Thomas, the former chairman of Oxford United. They are hoping he can agree this takeover deal here at Northampton in the space of the next few days. They're hoping Wednesday or Thursday of this week. But what looms large and is a greater concern is this tax bill a week today. £166,000. That must be paid in a week's time. I think the council locally are talking to HMRC to see if it can be adjourned. But those two deadlines are coming thick and fast and time is not what this place has. James, thank you very much indeed.